Hello and welcome to another excessively overdue art video. This here is um my sketch of this particular character. We'll just we'll just call him Candy Boy because he doesn't have a name. And I actually drew him and recorded myself drawing him and put all the footage together pretty much exactly three months ago to the day. Um I fully intended at the time to record the audio soon after, put it all together, get it out quick and efficiently, but um, I didn't because I'm me and, and that's just how I work. I have, since my last video, bought myself a microphone, but due to the fact that I am a messy person who still has not completely unpacked from university, I, I returned four and a half months ago. I I miss currently missing a few wires that I need in order to use my microphone with my computer in the way that I want to. So we're now looking back on this and um it it's kinda weird really. This isn't one of my favourite pieces. I don't dislike it in any way, I just don't love it. And <laughs> watching myself draw it, I'm like, uh why have I only just discovered the symmetry tool in Photoshop? <laughs> I'm literally just copying and pasting everything. Like, I could have drawn that entire face in one go had I, I discovered that sooner. But that's the thing. You, you learn and you develop and this whole thing's been a process. I mean, moving that little bear's head how I just did, I couldn't have done that this time last year. So anyway, um, <laughs> enough rambling. I initially, despite not loving this piece, recorded it and wanted to make it into a video because this is the first piece that I ever drew using my Huey on Canvas GT191 version 2, which is a 19.5 inch pen display. Um, and yes, it is big. I, I actually wanted to get a smaller Hueon tablet. But not a lot of Hueon is available in the UK. Most of it's just directly from them. And based on tax and things like that, my, my parents weren't comfortable with me ordering from outside of the country. So I looked at what was available on Amazon because our family has a slight addiction to Amazon and I found this and yes it's much bigger than I wanted it it's actually the entire width of my little box desk um it, it just about fits in perfectly which you know is great and not so great at the same time it definitely is not portable but I do still have my Wacom Intuos Art so I have a portable tablet to draw with it's just not a particularly fancy one and it really wasn't until a few weeks ago when I, I'd been drawing with this for months and I, I just couldn't be bothered to set everything up because you have to plug it in and sort out the screen and my um the chair I used to do my work is also my chair drove so it means I'm going to put away all my clothes before I have to before I can sit on it um and I as so I went into the kitchen got my insurance out got my Wacom out and I was just like I, I was drawing for about a few minutes I was like I could just feel the difference it just I could feel how good the Hueyon is in comparison to the Wacom now I'm sure Wacom have equivalents that are just as good I'm not this isn't a diss of Wacom in any way this is just showing how you know spending more and buying a fancier product you know it comes with benefits um because I I'm, I was trying to sketch and it just wasn't picking it up. You know, I've been, I've been sort of training myself to sketch more lightly and more freely because I, I'm not I'm not a hands hands drawn artist in any in it by any means. You know, I I taught myself to draw using just shapes and pen tools in Illustrator, and it's only over the last two years really that I've started to develop 
my skills using pens. So I've been practicing sketching, getting more used to the fluidity of it, the, the, the roughness of it, and it just wasn't, it just didn't feel right on the wake up. So that is uh, the one issue, is the fact that it's not portable. But it, it it's, you know, it's dealable. You, you just... Or you just buy yourself an iPad, even. You know, there's so many amazing tools out there that you can get for, you know, lower prices. And then, obviously, the size is a bit of an issue for me. I'm hoping that this time next week, I will have a new desk in place. We've been trying to get new desks for our front room since before Christmas. Um, I think we've sent them back three times now. Hopefully, the one that comes this week will be fine and it will all be good and I can set up a proper setup because the other main issue and this sort of links in with the size is that is that the GT191 version 2 does not come with express keys so I constantly need my keyboard next to me for shortcuts I, I've taught myself pretty much to rely on shortcuts and I'm now getting used to having used it for a few months I'm getting used to pressing things with my pen rather than having to press it on the keyboard and whatever but you've got two buttons on your pen and for me i found that it works best having them as command z and spacebar particularly when working in photoshop um previously i was using one of them as the right mouse button because in um illustrator i find that i use that a lot more but i've kind of just got used to these these two now and I think it works for me you know whatever works for you but it means I still need my laptop with me so I've had to find one of those sort of fold up tables almost like a picnic table but for your laptop so yeah those are the only negatives I really have I I personally I must say I really struggled getting it all set up in that I don't think I quite understood that it was basically just not a second screen and I could not get what I wanted to appear on the screen. I think it was just a bit of confusion. Um, I wasn't sure what it was that I was trying to work out. I was getting tips from uh, the internet, particularly Reddit, because I was going through a bit of a Reddit phase back then. But once you work it out, it's pretty simple. Once you've set it up once, it's set up for life. So, you know, not a significant issue in my opinion either. It's just something you've got to, got to deal with. I think anything you buy, you'll have issues setting up. It's just just what tech is all about isn't it so yeah, that's all my bubble about this Yeah, this guy's a little a little candy kid. He's from Candyland, hence the I Heart CL on his jumper. Um, a few people I've shown this to have found that a bit confusing. He's got candy floss hair, a gummy bear teddy bear, which I think I'm about to shade. Yeah, the shading on this, holy crap, it turned out so well. As well as the hair. I love both of those things. And I think this was when I, I first discovered the blending tool in, in Photoshop. And I was like, oh my gosh, there is so much I can do with it now. And the hair, to be honest, looks really good. Uh, the gummy bear, I just love. Um, he's a really cute concept. And at the time, I was feeling quite rigid in the colours I was using. So it was nice to be able to be a bit creative and and, and, and use, you know, cute, colourful colours. But yeah, not, not much else to say about, about it. Um, this was kind of for... This was done for the um, character design challenge, the monthly character design challenge. And I also did it as part of my character quest. Um, it was confectionery or candy lamb, I think. You know, they use different terms, but same thing, really. So, you know, kill two birds with one stone. And as I said, I don't, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I think it's cute. And, um, yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the vid. Um, if you want to subscribe, you, you click my little 
my little goat face there and if you want to see my last video you can click that that is also there right now so thanks for watching and hopefully my next video will be soon goodbye